Hello, I'm Kim from Techstar Chiropractic Patient Services Director with some good information for you today. So Kim's gonna help fill us in and answer some questions about what you do after a car accident. So we get patients who ask us all the time, you know, they'd say that they've been in an accident and they don't know what to do, but they're hurt. And there's a lot of options and it's kind of confusing at first. And so we're gonna ask Kim some questions and she's gonna fill us in on some details as far as how you handle these kind of situations. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kim for a second. So Kim, tell me, um, when a person calls from a car accident, what's the first question they generally have? Well, they generally are concerned about getting in and being seen and how, how the financial part of it works. And so that I always do like to reiterate the most important thing is just to, is to get scheduled and to be seen and find out what your condition is. Then we'll know how to help you. Great. Well, one of the things that I run into a lot is patients curious about how their auto insurance uh, works. Now, if you hit somebody else in an accident, but you're still hurt, what options do you have to use your insurance? A lot of people don't realize um, most everyone has what's considered personal injury protection coverage on your own auto insurance that you pay for every month. So you should be able to take advantage of that. You've been paying premiums every month. Uh, so you just make a phone call to your car insurance open a personal injury protection claim, also known as PIP, and it will take care of your medical expenses that happened for your conditions for the accident. Does that affect your insurance rates? No, uh, by Texas law, that they really cannot increase your rates based on a simple claim of that nature, uh, so that they're not really allowed to do that. That's not gonna typically, that will not raise your rates. What if you've been in an auto accident where someone hits you? Then what are your options? You know, again, this is an opportunity for to utilize something you've been paying for. So what's going to happen is that third party insurance, which is the insurance company of the person that hit you, um, they're going to delay payment for many, many months. So it's very difficult to get care until that money comes in. So you can then do the same thing we just said, which is open your own personal injury protection claim. And that way your insurance will pay until that third party pays. Okay? So you can use your own insurance to get started with care and then when you need to the third party insurance can take care of whatever's left yes great yes. now what if i got hit and it looks like that may be a more complicated situation um are when do attorneys get involved in these kind of situations you know having a conversation with an attorney is something that typically makes sense um so many attorneys in austin are, are are you know very personable and easy to talk to and they're available for complimentary conversations to help determine if getting an attorney or having an attorney uh, for that case makes sense or not. So sometimes you just don't know until you have a conversation and we do recommend you have those conversations with attorneys. Great. Yeah. Well, if you had to give us your biggest takeaways for auto injuries, basically from car accidents, um, what would you tell patients who've been in a car accident? Be sure and take care of yourself. You know, make the calls, you know, come in to see us and we'll walk you through all the steps. If a friend of yours has been in an accident, have them call us. We're here to help you. We have lots of experience with it. Um, so you really, you deserve to take care of your body. That's what we recommend. Great. Yeah. Thanks so much, Kim. All right.